Uh, the weather couldn't be much better from a footballing point of view. Yes, Welcome to so Selhurst well. Park in and South London. Welcome, I'm Derek Ray, awesome. and joining me for commentary oh, is the former oh. Arsenal defender, Lee Dixon. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League and coming right up. It's Crystal Palace Number versus two, Arsenal. Joel Hi, Derek, thank you. Well, both Number managers eight. will be reminding their players how important it is to start Number off the game really quickly. Yeah, really attack Daniel. the opposition, put them on the back Number foot, eight. see what Patrick comes of that. Panama. Hopefully we get a good game. Number 10. Andros Townsend. Well, he's often been described as a bit of a one-off, a real talent. No two ways about that, Wilfred Zaha. Lee, what do you anticipate seeing from him today? He's on the ball all the time, and his ability on the ball is absolutely phenomenal. He doesn't pass the ball away, he lends it to his teammates because he wants it back. It's very difficult to get the ball off him. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have picked. It looks pretty orthodox, Lee. Yeah, I love this formation, 4-4-2. The two main strikers will stay close together. The full-backs will link up with the wide players. The two holding midfielders will sit in front of the centre-backs. Very solid look about this team. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Bernd Leno gets the nod in goal. Granit Xhaka plays with Thomas Partey in central midfield. And leading the line today, Alexandre Lacazette. And so the match is underway. Kuyase. Plenty of options. Joel Ward. Possession lost. Thomas. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Benteke. On the ball, Andros Townsend. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? That's a good-looking ball in behind. What an important piece of defending. Milivojevic and Zaha has it and return to Zaha Luka Milivojevic Townsend well, an easy one to cut out really Cahill Luka Milivojevic they've given it away Martin Odegaard now Lacazette and he could cash in Oh, it looked as though he might be through. Not so. Wilfried Zaha. An attack full of promise. And attempting the through ball. In it goes! The opening goal in this contest. Well, here's the replay. Super fast counter-attack football at its best. And then through on goal. Do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. Well, the coach has to be happy with that. Got their noses in front. Still work to be done, though.
Arsenal restart the game then, and they have work to do as they try to wipe out that last goal. Number 11, Wilfred Zaha. Martin Odegaard. Tierney. Jacker with it. Lacazette. Now they've lost it. Oh, he's really up on the map here. He just needs to stay level-headed now. And it goes! Two goals in rapid-fire fashion and looking very comfortable here. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. And then the brute force and guile in equal amounts sets up the chance to score. And he doesn't disappoint, does he? Well, a second goal for them here. Goal for Crystal Palace, number 11, Wilfred Zaha. Saka now Bayerin Granite Jacka working away patiently looking for an opening Martin Odegaard Palace possession pretty decent really starting to dictate the tempo of this game now and they're creating chances as well I'm not sure their opponents seem to have the answer to be honest they can't seem to get a foothold in this game Martin Odegaard Hector Bellerin Arsenal have given it away. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. And the counter looks on here. Options available. In with a chance. It has to be, surely. Oh, that was a terrific stop in a one-versus-one one situation. Well, high fives all round for the goalkeeper. Absolutely fantastic. He's driven in the corner. Well, no end product. Luka Milivojevic and Van Aanholt Ezi looks promising this Milivojevic well a classic example of how to intercept there will be one minute added on at the end Strong play here. Cahill. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting him. He's really dominating in attack in this game, Lee. Well, he's got so much swagger, hasn't he? Why not as well? He's got so much game, superb finishing. Right place at the right time. He hasn't given the goalkeeper time to breathe. And so the match is underway. An attack full of promise. In it goes! The opening goal in this contest! Oh, he's really up on the map here. In it goes! Two goals in rapid-fire fashion and looking very... Com in with a chance. It has to be, surely.
Into the second half then, and Arsenal with a real mountain to climb. Might be onto something with that ball. Hector Bellerin. Thomas. Jacker with it. David Luiz. Thomas now. Well, disappointing end to the move. And no nonsense defensive clearance. Hector Bellerin. Pepe. Oh, big chance. An Arsenal corner. Time for a change then. Played into the center of the box. Oh, yes! What a classy goal! And make no mistake, there aren't many in the game who would have the confidence to even try it. Well, roll the replay again and again and again. You won't get sick of seeing this. What a lovely finish. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. On they go again, and that goal for Arsenal means they can now entertain thoughts of perhaps drawing level. Excellent first touch under the circumstances there. Luka Milivojevic. And Zaha has it. And taken away. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. What can he do from here? Townsend, lovely ball over the top. And the keeper exuding confidence. Yeah, doing his job. Right position, right time. Martin Odegaard. Poor pass under no real pressure. Cahill Ezzy and Zaha has it MacArthur well it looked highly promising but they got nothing out of it Martin Odegaard now can they counter clinically Pepe and it's gone out of play goal kick coming up Substitution time it is here. And he read it superbly. Thomas. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. A really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game.
fluency of movement. James MacArthur. And a chance here, Wilfred Zaha. Can he find the net? It's in. They're looking really relaxed and confident and not giving the opposition much of a look in. Well, here's the replay, and as we see, it's a class ball through to split the defence, and he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. Well, enjoy the good days as a coach. It could be a roller coaster ride, I can tell you that. No shortage of goals on this match. 3-1. Crystal Palace, number 18. 15 James minutes remaining. David Luiz. Thomas. Obama Yang. And a timely intervention. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. James MacArthur. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Luka Milivojevic. MacArthur. Oh, the ball lost here. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Obama Yang. Just cutting off the supply. Oh, he's given the ball away. Well, let's make no bones about it. This is a thorough thrashing, Lee. Well, I was marking that performance for Arsenal out of 10. I'll give them. Opportunity it is. They've got themselves back into it. A lifeline in this game, and this could be a dramatic finale. Well, here's the replay, and what a ball that is to put him through. But as good as the move is, the goalkeeper has had an absolute shocker. Beaten at his near post, terrible. Well, neutrals are getting their money's worth. 3-2 in this match. He's very adept at protecting the ball. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Well, they're attacking, but time is the great enemy. Nicola Pepe, Thomas now, Obama Yang. This could square the game, and the keeper getting across to stop it. Time really is of the essence. What can they do from this situation? Now the delivery, wonderful block, and you need your defender to take charge. And there goes the final whistle, plenty of reasons for Palace fans to be cheerful, they get the win lead. Well it was tight wasn't it, just done enough in the end I suppose to deserve the win, tactically a really good game Derek. Well, his performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Lee. Well, he never gave that back line a chance to get a breath. Two goals for the lad today. Played superbly well, looked really sharp. Constantly playing on the shoulder of the last defender. A real handful.
And so the match is underway. An attack full of promise. In it goes! The opening goal in this contest. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Played into the centre of the box. Oh, yes! What a classy goal! And make no mistake, there aren't many in the game who would have... And a chance here, Wilfred Zaha. Can he find the net? It's in. They're looking really and confidence and not giving the opposition much of a look they've got themselves back into it a lifeline in this game Obama Yang and the keeper getting across to stop it time really is of the essence what can they do from this situation